Hello again, Hackaday. This is PK, the project's lead, and actually the entire team for the most basic video guard implementation that you can think of, also known as BGA Tonic. Now, everyone loves project updates, and you know I love pulling out the camera to make project updates, uh, but I wanted to share something useful with you today. Useful, you know, in the sense that you can take the code I've written, uh, throw it on a CPLD, and do something useful and interesting with it. Um, I've actually done something that I, I've never seen uh, anyone do with a CPLD before. I mean, you know, I'm sure it's possible since I did it. But before I blow the surprise, uh, let's take a look at what's happening on the screen. Have you worked with FPGAs? The fact that I'm showing you 256 color VGA isn't that impressive at all. You know, it just takes a reasonably uh, uniform clock and a few counters, right? Um, maybe you're mildly impressed that it's all running on a 64 macro cell CPLD, but the counter is only 20 flip-flops and you only need about 10 more flip-flops for sync signals. Um, but after that, that's where things get weird. So the original VGA standard asks for a 25.175 megahertz clock to produce 640 by 480 video at 60 frames per second. The picture you see here is actually driven by a 25.056815 megahertz clock. That's oddly specific, you might say, but I'd counter that the number that I just told you is exactly seven times the 3.579545 megahertz color burst clock of NTSC. You know, and why would I want to do something silly like that with a mild 0.47% clocking error on VGA? Well, to produce color NTSC video out of the same exact 64 macro cell CPLD, of course. Now, as far as I know, other than one project I saw for the Papilio 1 FPGA, there aren't many examples of color NTSC video from CPLDs and FPA, FPGAs in general, actually. So it's my pleasure to help you out with your video projects by releasing this code into the wild. You need to do some clocking tricks with a phase lock loop to match this uh, specific work, but um, I'll go over that in detail in a separate article, along with you know some of my thought process while I was putting the whole thing together. So here's my release for today, VGA and NTSC color test patterns in lightweight VHDL, synthesizable on a 64 macro cell Xilinx uh, Cool Runner 2 uh, CPLD. Grab the code, wire it up, build it, have fun, and uh, you know any feedback you've got, send it over to me. Thanks a lot, and uh, hope you follow along.